Hello, uh, my name is Michael. Today I just want to show a demo of my website, www.omniacreator.com, and just do a little um, demo so that um, you guys are able to look at it without actually visiting the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and type it in right now. As you can see, it's secure. Um, this is the website. The purpose of it is just so that you are, are able to calculate what your grade is for a class and have multiple classes in your account and reflect that within like your class wide like GPA. So um, it has a lot of like math or pertaining to calculating your grade and also a whole login system that I'm about to demo right now. Um, so as we're looking at the home screen, there's a quick start function that it basically serves as like a mini version of the full lot um, the full features when you log in. Uh, at the top, you have a home page, a login page, a grader page, and a class selection page. Um, so let's start by pressing login. Here's your login screen. Um, since we don't have an account yet, we're gonna have to press register. Um, so here's our our portal for creating an account. I'm gonna use this email. Um, I'm gonna create a username. Let's name it test one two three four. And um, we're gonna go ahead and create a password. If we try to create one that's too short, for example, it's gonna say password's too short. So I'm going to um, put my password as the same as my username and try that. So it says verification email sent. Please allow five minutes for the email to send. So I'm gonna go ahead and check um, my email for my email environment. And I can see it right here, verify your email. Um, this link expires in six hours and you have a hyperlink to uh, the verification link. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that and you can see verification complete. You're now ready to log in. Um, if we press it again, open a new tab. account record doesn't exist or has been verified already. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to log in again, uh, paste my email and then put in my password and I can press remember me and then press login. So now we are in the application. Um, before we go any further, I'm going to show you the reset password functionality. Let's say I forgot my password, I can just press this button and put in my account email, press submit, and password reset link will be sent to the user email within five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my email again and password change request received. And I'm gonna get this link right here. I'm gonna go ahead and visit that link and change the password. So I'm gonna change it to something a little different. Um, I'll make them a little different so that you can see if the passwords don't match, it's not gonna work. But I changed the passwords to be the same and my password is now reset. So let's go ahead and try to log in. I'll try to log in with the old password and you can see that it is not going to work. So I'm going to use the new password, log in and this is our homepage. So let's start by creating a class. So we're gonna press this little plus button here. You can see we have default parameters and we can edit the default parameters by um, pressing this button. Um, let's call this for example chemistry and then you can change the amount of credits as well which affects the weight. Um, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Um, you can press this button to delete your class obviously. And we go ahead and press the class to access the main function. So this is where we're gonna be putting all of our grades in for the class. At the top, we can select what like grading scale we want, whether it be percentage where everything is out of 100, like this, and it automatically selects everything to 100. Um, we can do points where we can select how many max points everything is. And lastly, we could do category, which is points, but each category has a different weight. So let's do category for now. Um, I'm gonna put in a couple assignments. Uh, let's do a quiz. And let's say I got an 80 out of 100. A test, let's say I got a, a seven out of eight. And let's add one more row and say our attendance grade, nine out of 12, right? So I'm gonna have to link each of these to a category. Like for example, I'll put these in the assignment category, this in the quiz category, this in the test category, and this is the attendance category. So these values are important because if we scroll down, we have these 
category markers right here so we can go ahead and assign a weight to each of these sections um so if we scroll a little more down we can see that there's um the grading scale i have this set default to the fiu like grading scale but you can change the values of these if you want if your school if your um class does different grading scales so now that we put all our values in um, we can select the decimal place that we want our result and go ahead and press calculate and it's going to give us our grade and the um, letter number one thing also is that if your weight does not equal 100 percent you're going to have uh, an error message so i'm going to put this back to 15. let me press calculate and we can see that our grade in this class is 83.9 we have a B minus because of the scale. Well, if I change this value to 83, press calculate, we would have a B. So now that we're finished with this class, I'm gonna go back to class selection. All right, so we can see that now we're back at the home screen and our chemistry class is saved. And when we go back, we can see that all the values are there. So let's go back to class selection. You can see our career grade, which is basically gonna be like the GPA of all your classes. So let's try to make one more class real quick make it maybe a one credit class call this um reading uh let's do percentage this time and just have assignment one two three four five six seven and then we can go ahead and calculate this and see that we had an 89.0 which is a b plus in this instance so now that we did that i'm going to go back to the class selection screen so we can go ahead and press the settings button to adjust the parameters of our home screen over here. So we can press this button to either assign our class guide by percentage or letter. This will change the um, value of this number right here when we reload the page. So you see it changed from letter to percentage. We can change what our career grade is in. So for example, we can change it from percentage to GPA like this. Um, and we can say the amount of decimal points that are going to be in front of our career grade. So that is basically it for my website. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, if you want to see the source code as well, it's going to be on my GitHub. So um, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.